Hello traders, Jordan here with another setup. Actually today we have another commodity, we are going to talk about silver in this video. And basically looking for buys, okay, in in absolute summary here. Why is the question though? Uh, first of all, let's start with the daily chart, okay, and that breakout which took some time to develop. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the 1314 zone reached per se. Okay, we just got there close to it and it moved. And why did we want to see that zone? Because of that. Okay, this is the monthly chart. This is an amazing supportive zone, meaning that any false break here would have been a perfect, perfect place to start attacking the buys for the longer term, even for investments, if you're dealing with investments and not short term trading. Anyway, uh, following up on the more recent price action here, we got the breakout as we can see. There is clearly some momentum, there are no signs against us anywhere confirming reversals. Okay. That means bullish it is. This is where we drop to the 4 hour chart and that's where I've been following two possible scenarios. Scenario number one at the moment looks like some sort of triangular pattern, contracting pattern that develops. Now in many situations like this one what usually happens is that potential triangle is broken. Okay, stops are cleared for those trying to buy from the very low and then the price action starts forming some kind of channel or the so-called flag or so. Okay. Now the thing here is that as the top here is holding and we didn't break above, we can actually measure the Fibonacci levels and you'll see that the 100 zone is slightly below the previous low here meaning that a possible situation like that would be bringing the price to exactly this place now this is where we have trend line this is where we have hidden divergence bullish hidden divergence and break below would we'll start forming continuing divergence here as well this is also and probably this is what we should have started with uh, an extremely strong supportive zone basically very strong level bullish pressure and when we go to the one hour chart here you see that we have double bottom okay divergence bullish pressure is again forming so getting one more push lower clearing here stops would be fantastic and then we can be actually looking for this kind of breakouts we can be looking for aggressive entries based on divergences, we can be looking for conservative entries, whatever floats your boat. But the idea would be we want to see this thing continuing higher. So that would be about uh, silver. I've been asked about gold as well. And very quickly here we can go ahead and cover it. Gold managed to break above this Six year, I believe it was high. Okay, that was trend line. That was the extreme spike here. Okay, which we finally managed to break above. And this is the trend line I was referring to something like this here. Okay, uh, so basically, we have a zone, a resistance zone, which is now probably going to turn into supportive zone for us. The divergence is gone, everything is showing bullish momentum to be expected and bullish momentum to come. Um, but for more details, I'm going to create another video. This is just an overview where we want to say, okay, we're looking for pullbacks and then continuations. If you have any questions or you would like me to cover another setup, commodity, stock, CFD, whatever, crypto, okay, put it in the comments below and I'll consider making another video. Thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to join us in Telegram. Bye for now.